Right, hello everyone. This is gonna be my um my final run for the for the tombs for uh, in pre preparation for the um, the time trials for the lunar league. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of the NPC that are over there because I'm sure they're going to be an annoyance. I'm actually wondering if there might be a way to get NPCs, friendly NPCs, to join you during a mission. Like if I launch the mission, we're gonna have the drones. I don't know if that's gonna trigger NPCs over there, I don't know. Anyway, this will be my final run. I uh, just wanna see if I can get a better time, so uh, I'll try to go maybe a bit faster. I'm gonna go with glass cannon. Uh, M1A is going to be my weapon. Got boomerang. I have uh, the AR that I'm probably not gonna use, but just you know, just in case. Um, three piece Providence. My new backpack that I had to change because uh, I deconstructed my old one by mistake. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Uh, perfect glass cannon. I could go with spotter to just to be safer, but. I'm gonna try with more damage. Group of Sombra. I might add a um, Seska also, actually, uh, in my stash though. So, and Foxy Sprayer. I have another Foxy Sprayer with headshot damage. Actually, I'm gonna try this one. Yep. And uh, yeah, Crusader Shield and Jammer Pulse for the drones. That's it. There we go. We've tracked the signal from Parnell's drone, and it looks like it's coming from the tomb. Hopefully, he'll still be there. At the very least, we'll be able to find some of his equipment. I'll sit in on this one, in case you need some support. I'm gonna go left Me? to get some cover. I just see what weird shit this kid's been up to. And then I start from the left, too. Rogue drone detected. So I don't get flanked too hard. Always try to use something as a environment as a cover, you know. So if I go left, I'm gonna get flanked on the right, and I wanna you know, have something to to shield myself because my shield with perfect glass cannon it's taking 60% damage, extra damage, so it's not gonna last long. And me neither, my armor and my health are gonna go down very really fast. But... Oh, I'm sorry buddy, I, I can't join you right now. Human remains detected. Analyzing data. Maybe later. Positive identification. Theo Parnell, rogue agent deceased. I have link laser pointer on my M1A just to, you know, highlight the enemies so I can track them. It's a really cool mod. Also works with spotter. Should be one above. No? Yes, there's one above. Okay. That was pretty fast for my standards. That was a really fast. Uh, Start so far. So I'm gonna try to be careful. Spatial recognition record on this shade database. I fixed the exploit. Shouldn't be a problem anymore. Here I'm gonna go over here. Maybe take this one down and then I'm gonna start on the left and try to shoot everybody that come out of the door, but I wasn't fast enough, so never mind. You can focus can the, the door over there can you push it? Can you because that's where the enemies come from. I'm actually going to take the AR for that part. I think for the the drones, it's going to be easier for me. Let's go. Like 
for some reason it's always really hard for me to aim for the drones especially with a rifle I can't even imagine what it would be like for me with a, a sniper rifle that would be terrible Since I'm not using spotter this time, I can also make better use of the the FAMAS because it doesn't have a linked laser pointer attachment that you can put on, so you can take advantage of uh, spotter with uh, the FAMAS. Parnell can create holograms of himself. One of those fuckers is more than enough. Okay, I'm starting to know the mission pretty well now. So I'm still gonna stand here. Actually, that's not why I wanted to stand. Just wanna go left and stay over here so I have some cover for my right flank. Where is he? I have the, the big concrete poles for... Well, that's not what they, they're called, but... Some classified division records, and there's evidence of institutional corruption that goes all the way to the top. You really think the division is insulated from Washington and its political bullshit? We should be working together. I'm a bit low on ammunition, but we'll see. Parnell's signal is getting stronger. Parnell only gets AR Looks like ammunition. In the security room at the top of the building. I mean, I still have a decent amount. Like I can, I can do some damage with this. I'm not sure when ammo drops, if it has to do with the orange bar or if it's just for the specialization ammo and medkit. Try to access it. Active terminal detected. Bypassing security protocols. All right, Rhodes. Show us what you got. Let's I'm go. It, Should have this nut cracked in no time, thanks to Isaac. Sometimes we will get um a lot of red bars for this uh, part, and sometimes you get like more tanky enemies. So we'll see what kind of luck I get. Kaboom! Okay, I got some ammo earlier. That's that's nice. And final wave. Okay, I'm really lucky with my um, still one left. Scan results. Yeah, I got really squishy enemies, so it was easy. Sorry. Oh, drones. It's always satisfying to do this for some reason. I'm here. You still got this under control. It's great voice IT voice acting. I'm on my way to you now. The division won't be far behind. Get ready. I'm gonna stand on the left again. They they are not moving, like nobody even shot at me yet. I did pretty bad for that path, I have to say, it wasn't optimal. Okay, let's try to finish him off quickly. Oh, that's too bad, I, I wanted to leave me alone with you. No, you don't. Alright, let's go. Some ammo somewhere? Yeah, over there. It's a bit far away. <laughs> Waste of time. Okay, 
I have to be careful about the next part. I mean, with uh, with glass cannon, I have to be careful because it can be tricky actually this part. Let's see how I do. And where are the spawns too? Come on. Where are they? Okay, it's down left, uh, down right, sorry. Well, actually, that works great for me. You know what, I, I, I can't see anything from here, so I'm just gonna... I have somebody on my right, I think, somewhere. Where are you? Such a waste of time, but... And I've got to run after him, you know? Okay, I have to be careful over there too. Why am I? Oh, okay. And then I really hope I don't die in the final part because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very annoyed if that happens, but we'll see. It was only one enemy. And there you wanna be close to the Oh fuck I miss the the spawn. No, don't go, please. Please don't go. Thank you. Okay, so I might pick up some ammo. Or maybe when I get in to the yeah, gonna do that because I, I will have some time to do it. I don't know where to stand. Um, I think I'm gonna stay here. I'm over here. What the hell? How many of those does he have? I need to find him fast. Shoot everything. This is right in your wheel. Why? There you are. Probably gonna need one shot only every time, which is nice. Or two. There might be a spawn behind me at some point. N not right now, obviously, but... I'll be careful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. The turrets. Still don't really know how the the last part is. You know how it goes when the turret comes in. I don't know. Is that an order or something? Rogue agent detected. Why are you? Fuck. What the fuck is Theo? Over there maybe? Must be over there, right? Yeah. You don't want to waste too much too much time trying to find Theo, I think. And this is why it's good to have Perfect glass cannon now because I'm doing so much damage that I can just send Theo back to hiding very quickly. I'm not worrying about the damage because you see I'm gonna be able to regen. Oh no, okay. <laughs> My bad, I thought I was gonna be able to regen, but no. What the fuck? What? Is over, over here? Okay. And another one here. And this is when I need to be really careful. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, they're all behind me. And I've taken a lot of damage right off the bat. Hi. Normally I wouldn't do this. But I really don't want to die right now. Because I'm, I'm going to be pissed if that happens. So I'm just going to play it safe this time. Where are you? You're dead. Okay. Okay, I, I didn't really need to put the med kit, but like I said, I, I don't want to fail here. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing somewhere around um, 14 minutes. Processing power to find the server, crack it, and extract the files. I've got a few ideas, but his watch is definitely going to help as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I. Okay, I don't think I would be able to get much faster time than this. I mean, obviously, if I had to run it like a hundred times, like I did for Manning, then yeah, I would probably be able to save some time but like even if i if i had been able to do a better run here with this setup and play style i would probably only be able to knock out maybe 20 30 seconds at best and there's really no point in doing that i think uh it might be my best time on on the tombs I mean, I don't play it hard missions that much, so uh, let me see. Uh, progression, leaderboards it might be bugged. This one. Oh no, there's no <laughs> there's no leaderboard for one mission, which is a shame, really. Okay, so I guess uh, that's it for the um, the tombs. I try to give you guys some. Variety, variety of builds, you know, to run the mission and to get a decent time. And I was able to get sub uh, sub 18 on all the mission. I think I got a 16 something with the with the cam no with some build, maybe with the NMG build, and I died too. I think in that uh, run. But um, like I said, if it is as I expect and stage 10 is set at, uh, at um, 18 minutes like I think with the build I, I showed you should be uh, you should be fine um, yeah I, I deconstructed um, a few backpacks yesterday like <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain I have some item that I had marked for donation like I think I have one somewhere. Oh, come on. Yeah. And so when I try to mark as junk, pressing V, you see what it does? Like I'm on the um, ongoing directive and then I press V and it jumps down to the other item. And I didn't realize that. I thought that it was marked as junk, but since it was already marked as a donation that it just wouldn't show so I did this and then I started um, to deconstruct and I don't know I was really stupid I did that maybe three four times in a row until I realized I was actually deconstructing all my items and as you can see most of the items I have in my inventory they're, they're loadouts I mean not all of them but even if they are not loaded, they are really good items. Most of them. What is this? I think I wanted to donate that, but I wanted to share it, but I couldn't. So yeah, so I erased a lot of good backpacks. And uh, fortunately for me, most of the DPS build that I have run with the Vigilance backpack. So I'm fine. And um, I still need to find. I think it's a. I think it's a Wyvern, right, for the turret drone build. 
the AFK build that I haven't used in a while now. I think it's one Hanayu. Let me see. Skill haste, skill damage. Oh, maybe two piece Hanayu. It's going to be pretty easy to find out. Okay, so it's two Hanayu. Three Murakami, is it? Yeah. Three Murakami and one Wyvern. So I need to find uh, myself a Hanayu backpack. This one is fine, I guess. I mean, I have a headshot damage mod, which is not ideal, but it's still good. I'm going to replace it. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, loadouts. Okay. Yeah, I got lucky. Like I didn't lose my Costa go bag. I think it's a gold roll. Oh yeah, almost. So I didn't lose everything, you know. I think maybe I, I don't know. I don't know what I de deconstructed exactly. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to cut it a day and I think tomorrow I'm going to go over to Pathway Park and I think I'm going to run with, I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the tombs. So I'm going to have a first run with probably an AR just to try and get a sense of the, the mission, the spawns, where to position, where to go. And you know, give a, a commentary in between each section as to what I think about, you know, what's the best way to handle it, or at least the best way that I that I can come up with. And then I'm gonna run with all the build that I already use now. I mean, I could try it with um, like this build, which is artillery turret and seeker mine. But you know, it's the build where you have to basically sit in cover. You can, you know, launch your turret and or just hide like this, and then, you know, I mean, it would be really effective, I think, in um, hard because look at that <laughs> that range that um, uh, I don't know what you call that. Uh, how do you call that? There's a name for that. I need to pick up my English skills. Artillery turret. Oh yeah. Radius. The blast radius is is huge. But you know, I don't I, I don't really like sitting behind cover when I'm trying to do a speed run. It's um, it goes against my instincts, you know, to be able to move around fast and. But I, I mean, I could still get decent. Oh, maybe I will do one run with with this build. Yeah, I will. I'll do one run with this build. Try to get a, a sub 18 on Pathway Park, and then. And then there's the. Um, where are you? Yeah, this one. The turret and drone build. It's the same thing. I don't really feel like playing with uh, this build, you know? But I might try and do a run to see if I can get a sub 18 on Pathway Park 2. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.